like, subscribe, and get notified. Hey guys, I'm on the CRV guy here. Sorry, it's been a while to make a video, but I'm doing a video on the update as serial killer requested, so it's gonna be easier. So, I'm just gonna tell you um, what I think about the update and what I bought in the update. And I bought back my Super Swag Purple Bus after a while and sold my $5 million Tesla Roadster. So now there's four GTs at the top. Now I'm gonna go over the cars that I bought that are in this update. First car, 2007 Pagani Zonda Roadster. Um, I actually um, showed this in Blox Wheels video. Um, shout out to him. Shout out to Blox Wheels for letting me um, help him film his video with the Zonda. And the uh, update added to, I mean, I added blue rims to it, so now I'm gonna call it Super Swag Purple Tacky Zonda. Because the purple and the um, blue rims don't match. And here's the interior, it's pretty detailed. Like one of the most cars with the most detailed interior. Kinda of looks old though, but what do you expect? This car's from 2007. Let's start it up and rev it. Oh yeah, I forgot. I only have a mouse now, so what am I gonna do is to um switch my thing to advanced gauges, then realistic shifting. Um, more smoke is coming out for cold starts in this update. Yeah, here's what it sounds like, and we're gonna do a top speed test, one-handed actually. Actually, I'm gonna drive on the highway, turn the camera off for a second, and then record the top speed. And here's what I forgot to do in this video: horn, um, headlights. They're LEDs. You already saw them in Box Wheels video, but here's another view on them. Can't really um see the back things. All right, now we can. Couldn't see it because of that smoke cloud right there. This is one of the cars that smoke a lot in the game now. Accidentally open my show, I think. Alright, we're gonna do hazards. We're actually gonna turn, I mean, get out the car and then review the hazards out the car so that smoke cloud can go away. So there's the hazards in the front. I mean, here's the hazards in the back, and now here's the hazards in the front. Here is a front. Here's a front end view of the car. Pretty cool. Still, um, legend of supercars in this area. And now we're gonna do a test. Top speed test. I'm gonna put the camera down for a second. And if you're wondering how I'm steering, they're trying to steer with my chin. This is going to be kind of tricky to do it one-handed. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my camera... I'm going to make my camera lean on my mouse. And see if we can stay. Alright, it's stabilized. Top speed is 240 miles an hour. Braking test. Not bad brakes. It won't do skid marks because I'm on Xbox and Box Wheels watching this video. Yeah, this is the first car I bought in the, um, the first car that I bought in this update. And all right, next car. Next car is a 2019 Lamborghini Aventador SVJ. Also has the blue rims like the Pagani Zonda has. So you can call this car Super Swag Purple Aventador SVJ. And here's the back. Here's the exhaust pipes right here. 
some games on the other side, and let's hear the startup. Sounds better than the Aventador did in GV3. I mean, the Aventador GV3. Alright, rev test. Alright, um, that's a rev test, and we're gonna actually reset back to dealership, so, um, we can, wait, we can view the, um, first thing, sorry, here's the, um, headlights, they're not that detailed, back headlights, whatever you call them, and, of course, I'm gonna get out and shut the vehicle off for the hazards. So they looked exactly like how the hazards were in GB3. So yeah, they're actually um, detailed now. So is the daytime running light. And the daytime running light actually works now. Because it didn't work in GB3. Alright, we're going to reset back to dealership for a second, and then we're going to go back on the straight road that we were again. Alright, we're going to do another top speed test. Alright guys, sorry for that pause there. I ran a storage base. Alright, sorry for that second pause there. Um, I had to, um, move, I had to move my, um, I had to do permanently delete my screenshots that I had from trash so that I permanently deleted and I can't restore them ever but now the top speed test Top speed is 239 miles an hour. And we just crashed and hit a pole. But we're gonna move on to the next car. And the last car I bought in this update is the 2000. Sorry for the other pause there. Um, my phone keeps acting up with the storage base, but this is the last car I bought, and this is the 2020 Ford GT. And we're actually gonna view what trim I got. So what I did, I got the Carbonaro trim, Carbonaro, whatever you like to call it, for for this Ford GT. And I got. Sorry for the other pause there. Um, something is really wrong with the storage space on my phone. I barely even have anything on my phone. But these are the trims. All right. Um, my phone keeps really acting up because the storage. We have experienced a lot of downsides while we were while I'm trying to film this. Really, I have. So that's why I went and uninstalled most of the apps on my phone. So now we're gonna go through my trims. This is the trim for the 4GT, trim for the SVJ, and the trim for the Zonda. And now we're gonna go through the stuff in the GT. All right, let's walk around this carbon fiber car. And start it up. Hear that V6. Alright, this is gonna be called the Super Swag Purple Stripe GT. And now, um, we're gonna do the top speed. But before we do that, headlights. Detail. I think I think I hear another engine. No, I don't. There's nobody in the in my server except me, private server. I almost went to buy moats, but um, and hazards. It's pretty visible to see. 
Now we're gonna do top speed run. And now the top speed test. Mm -hmm. cars that got added. Also disclaimer, if you're on Xbox, your um, tires will not get um, snowy. Only computer players or mobile players can have snowy tires, but not Xbox players. First car is a 2001 Falcon Prime Equus, P71 Sheriff. It was Crown Victoria. You may have seen the trims for Roblox Wheels video, so I don't have to go through all, so I don't have to go through the trims. 2002 Chevy Antelope. Antelope. This is based off of Crown Victoria, and this is based off of 2002 Impala. This is the Pagani Zonda. I don't have the um, 2.3 million dollar trim because I like the 2.8 million dollar trim, but the trims are the 614F Sport Coupe. See, um, here's the red rims. You can paint the vehicle red like this. I saw someone paint them gold with the Roadster variant. Whoops. It's also on do this to the rims. Well, I don't mean dual gold, I mean like solid gold like that. That type of gold right there. It actually looks cool. But I don't know on this trim. Alright, next is the 2012 Ford, I mean, Falcon Aquarius, based off of Fort Taurus. And this is a 2013 Chevron Antelope Sheriff. Um, 2013 Wolfsburg Pitch, um, Luxury's favorite golf, even though I thought the 2015 was his favorite golf and the Golf R32 was his favorite golf. But he's banned from Greenville, so let's not talk about that 15 or 16 year old that doesn't know how to forgive anybody. And I don't care what you say, Mezzy Plays. I know you commented on that video. It's 2015 Falcon Aquarius. As I was saying, there's the share version for the four Taurus. Here's the WSP version for the four Taurus and the security version for the four Taurus. This is the 2015 Inventador. I have the 2019 Inventador because I like the 2019 SVJ better. But on the SVJ, I don't like those two things that are on the hood. Like, see, I'm going to click the 2019 to look at carbon for a second. And then, see, I don't like those things that are on the hood. And I'm going to show you my they're right, these are my rooms right here. Um, but next to the um, Ventador is the Falcon Scavenger Sheriff, which is the old um, Explorer Sheriff. And they got an update for the um, 2019 version of it with the Slick Top Alternative. And it has like a new bar. So it's now protecting itself. You already viewed the. Um, you already reviewed this Aventador. Here's the Ford, new 4DT. And here's the um, 2020 Explorer Sheriff. And here's the 2020 version of the um, Falcon Scavenger WSB. And with that new bar around it. And the last vehicle that is here is the 2020 Take You Amuse, aka as the 2020 Acura RDX. And now I do not like the way that this Acura RDX looks. I like the back of it though. But what, but rate the chime in the description below. What do you think of the chime? 
now, I'm going to rate the cars that I have. Whoops. Dialing is nice. I'll give it to you for the Pagani Zonda. And it will get um, a 9 out of 10. Interior is very nice and very detailed, so it gets an 8 out of 10. But I'm not, but I'm gonna knock that down for a 7 out of 10 for now because of the lack of quality in this interior. I know it's pretty detailed, like the steering wheel is pretty detailed and the shifter is pretty detailed, but not the rest of the stuff. There's a bunch of lack. Well, there's um, not a lot of lack to it, but there's some lack to it. But I'm getting a 7 out of 10. The engine bay has a Mercedes engine in it, and that's the fake logo for their Mercedes. And I'm, I don't know what I'll rate this um, engine, but I'll give it an 8 out of 10 for now. This car spits flames and it's pretty cool. And um, yeah, um, let's give it a 7 out of 10. And the rating for the Pagani Zonda is 22. Or so here's the Aventador SVJ. I like the styling for the back, but I don't really like the styling for the front because those little holes in there. And I'll give it a six out of ten. Um, spoiler is pretty nice, um, but that's part of styling also. But it still gets a six out of ten. Engine bay, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Like look, so it's a V12 in it. Like there's a V12. Like, promise me, there's a V12. Like, listen. But I don't really like the way that engine looks because it, in my camera, it looks brown. But I think it's actually white. But I can't really see the engine, so five. And this car also spits flames. Eight out of ten. And this car doesn't have an interior, so it gets a one out of ten. The score for the SVJ is 23. Last car, 2020 Falcon Heritage. See, I love the carbon fiber on this. I love the purple stripes on this. I like the Falcon logo. And the headlights are pretty detailed. And go to the back. Yeah, it just looks like the OGT from Greenville. But the front is now pretty much pretty detailed, and I love that carbon fiber. I'm glad I got the carbon fiber trim. So this car is getting an 8 out of 10 for the styling. The engine bay detail doesn't really doesn't really look for doesn't really look that realistic. It's neither for the Zonda, but I like the way the Zonda's um engine looks because it actually has a logo on it. But this one doesn't have um a fake logo for it for Falcon. And but it's actually pretty detailed to the real life one. But you can't open the hood, and there's more carbon fiber here. But and the spoiler also goes up on this car. But I'm just gonna get a, a 4 out of 10 for now. This car spits flames, 8 out of 10, and no interior. Maybe they'll be a convertible? Maybe they won't be a convertible because there's already a 2005 4GT convertible in the game. So why would they need a 2020? Anyways, 1 out of 10, just like the SVJ got. Score for the 4GT carbon fiber is 21. Now the map rating. Um, driving around for a little bit to see, um, how much we get on this map. But I need to find a place where I can set my camera down real quick. Alright, I found a place to lay my camera on. So now, let's give the map a rating. We're going to be driving the 4GT while we're doing this, so let's go. So, the new sheriff map. So, the new sheriff station, huh? Station, I mean. We're gonna go to it and then, um, rate the sheriff station. But this map is looking good so far. And what I think the game feels like now, it feels like that revamp just dropped out again. Because when revamp dropped out, the game felt so different. And now the game feels different again since this update has dropped.
the spoiler on my GT is extractable. I mean, intractable. Retractable. Yeah. Still running. And jump out, JK. We're not gonna jump out. There's that place that got added. It doesn't have an interior yet. And this is the sheriff station. And since I've been at the state patrol pass in GV3, um, we're gonna check out the interior. I don't feel like using my mouse, but my mouse is easier to use. We're in the sheriff station now. I'm using the uniform that you can click. And um, here's this. This just looks like um, the WSP station. I mean, this sounds like the WSP station on Meeps. Also, why didn't I control for doing this? Well, now I have on uniform. I don't know how I look at it. Rate my avatar of how I look at, on it. Alright, um, here's where people enter 911. Well, I think this is where most people enter 911 for the um, sheriff's team stuff. Like 911, which is your emergency. And then they um, come solve the emergency. Is this us uh, serving with pride? LGBTQ pride. Um, use this. I have no idea what the heck this is. There's a door out. And there's my GT over there. Like, I, I didn't even know I was walking out to my Ford. And this still says serving with pride. And I think, yeah, this is just some um, offices down here, like blocks we always reviewed. Yeah. And here's out Game County. O C Let me see. I don't know what does what does it say for again? I don't know, but here we go. Um here's like a garage where you can store the sheriff um stuff in. I mean the sheriff cars. And this interior, I don't think it's pretty done yet. Because it is kind of small though. But yeah. Let's see, um, alright, so, um, the, um, State Patrol decal is now different. We're gonna log on to my computer that is on my, um, well, I actually have a Chromebook now. So we're gonna go on there, and then, um, view, and then rate the decal for the, um, um, new law enforcement pass. Alright, we're on my computer now. And I don't know what's up with these ads, but this is a Chromebook, so I can't log into um Roblox app. I can't log into this um stuff here. Like if I click play, um, then it will just bring me to um like how your Roblox app is supposed to be on your phone, and I have it here. So here's the um, law enforcement pass now. It's kind of blurry because I don't know why, but we're going to turn down the brightness to see if that works. Actually, we're going to turn it on. Yeah, it's not focusing. Like, it really isn't. Like, if it could fo focus in real life, why can't, it, why can't it focus on the phone? Focus! Ford, focus! Even though there's no Ford focus here. I'm bad at holding cameras, but yeah, um, it's an eight out of ten. I like the decal for it because there's like um two explorers next to each other. I'm the sheriff and the WSP. All the other game passes in the game still have the same decal and stuff. Like none of it has changed. It's been like this since the revamp first dropped at on September. And on December 9th, it is my birthday, and my birthday has already passed. But Christmas is coming soon. And I don't know what are these Roblox are. 
all right someone accepted my friend request okay and um clear all and um we're gonna watch um the clip of me riding blocks wheels in my Pagani Zonda and then this video is gonna end and if you want to find um what timestamp it is go in description or you can put um two two um two thirty four the timestamp is two thirty four is the timestamp all right, let's. We're gonna watch this. Next vehicle is a 2007 Pagani. Right, since an ad is coming up, um, I'm gonna pause the video for one second. Pagani Zonda. This is now shown as the most expensive. All right, continue. The ad went off. The vehicle listing in the dealership. Although the five million roadster trim is still more expensive. Big thank you to a fan known as Honda CRV guy for letting me use his Pagani Zonda roadster for this video. Also, if you're wondering, the top speed is 240 miles per hour. There are a couple different trims, the 641F Sport Coupe for $2.3 million, the 641F Sport Roadster for $2.8 million, and the rims include the 9-spoke silver rims, the 9-spoke dual silver rims, the 9-spoke red rims, the 9-spoke blue rims, the 9-spoke dual blue rims, the 9-spoke gold rims, the 9-spoke black rims, the 9-spoke dual red rims, and finally, the 9-spoke dual gold wheels. This car definitely has a ton of wheel options. Exactly. Definitely a lot of colorful ones as well. Here's how it looks spawned out. Pretty nice. It has the exhaust. It has the Sorry LED for that pause for a second. Um, what I was trying to say, I thought I was pausing the video instead. But what I was trying to say is, this was taken before I changed the wheel set to blue. Because see, these are silver, and these are the base model rims, rims for both trims. Let's continue. Now, tail lights in the back, and here's the interior. This is the Roadster version. This is actually quite a detailed interior. Possibly the most detailed interior yet of any convertible in the game. Here is a sound test. Blocks of Wheels, if you're watching this video, if you're wondering how I rip so fast, um, the mouse is the reason because I have computer controls on my, um, Xbox. If I didn't have the mouse, then um, the re the um, realistic shifting would have never been there. But now I have the realistic shifting, and I'm in neutral right now, so that's how I'm revving so fast. I'm gonna give you um, a quick example of my DT. So yeah, let's go back to the um, video. Now for a 0 to 100 brake test. The fast launch control is also the answer with the mouse also. But even if I didn't have the mouse, I still would have had a good launch control. And this was 100 miles an hour on the dot, except I brake for a second to go to 100. No skid marks is the reason for on Xbox. Next vehicle and stuff. So yeah, um, this is the end of the video. Like, subscribe, and get notified. Actually, I don't have to say it right here because you already know I have the outro, and you already know what's gonna say because I already said it. Yep, it's about to say it right now, isn't it? <sighs> yep. Like. Subscribe and get notified. Goodbye.